Hi, we're at 837 Beatty Street in Vancouver, British Columbia. Canada. We're in a wonderful building site being built by Etro. Architecture by OMB, engineering by Fast and Ev. This is an adaptive reuse of a three-storey brick building with heavy timber structure inside of it. So in order for it to be built, it needs to be lightweight above it. What's the best solution for that? Mm, more timber. And so this heritage building was built by bringing in trains and just taking milled heavy timber straight off and just start building. So this is the last level of the original heritage building. So we've got mass timber above. That's where you put a whole heap of bits of lumber together to create a big section. This they call heavy timber. This is an ancient tree that's now sitting in situ in a building. They had to actually replace some of the timber because there was rot in it. But they were able to work around that rot to keep the original timber in place and the original NLT. That whole section was taken out and stored so they could pour the central core, the lift and the stair, and then returned to where they were previously. Yeah, try doing that in concrete. <laughs> Take it away, bring it back. On this level, you can see the structural ring beam. This is where the new building starts from. So that's all transferring the load of the structure down to and across to the new concrete piers. So you've got your glue lamb beam and your NLT going across. And what's interesting is that you can see there in that glue lamb, there's already a breach through there. So that was done in the factory. All of it designed in CAD and then prefabricated before it comes out the site. And the plate under there has got intermittent paint. So wherever you see any steel work, it's all being painted white. And of course, in a fire, that paint just expands to protect the steel. The, the timber doesn't need that because it just chars, it protects itself. So we're on a level that will soon have concrete poured. You can see the plywood with the waterproof layer on top of it. So the NLT is directly under that 19 mil of plywood. And then we've got this Rio on top for 150 mil of concrete to go on here. All that timber we're seeing, that is the finish. It's finished. And then we get to the roof deck. That NLT panel just there, that was the last NLT panel they put in and they stopped and had a party. So they're not bringing bricks from elsewhere. So in terms of what happens to the material, there's no travel carbon in that because they haven't trucked on bricks. They just clean these ones up on site and they start laying them. But it is amazing how much effort it's taken to save a building. Oh, absolutely. A lot of people think, oh, old building, five bricks wide is the old wall. It'll be easy, just stack it on. No, you've got to make it thermally efficient and rework it. This is not a fireplace. I thought it was a fireplace and somebody was like, no man, that's where the old beam used to go in there and sit in this incredibly thick wall. Wow.